idea of the conference is to celebrate all the good work that they've been doing all year long. Um, student Voice is our second year of Student Voice, and we have uh, right now 25 secondary schools that have Speak Up projects happening, as well as uh, 24 elementary schools having Speak Up projects happening. So we just want to bring as many schools out as possible, as many student leaders out as possible, to celebrate this wonderful event. Our, our first venture into Student Voice was one that was uh, in connection with the Ministry of Education as a pilot project with the Ontario Educational Leadership Camp. And as one of two boards, we were invited to participate in a three-day session around leadership training for all of our secondary schools. And uh, since then, we've, we've grown that into a number of student voice conferences that have led to today, uh, where we've actually extended the invitation now to our elementary schools. I'm Anthony Chicocelli. I go to St. Aloysius Gonzaga High School I'm in grade 11. And this year, our school has our topic is the Cyber Bowl. Um, there's 23 student members in our group. There are four uh, staff advisors. Uh, this year, we talked about cyberbullying, and we have our slogan this year it's control out delete, control your actions, alter your behavior, and delete cyberbullying. We did a few different things. We have uh, our launch in our cafeteria. We had a video launch. We went into classrooms, did presentations just to get students aware that we're not okay with bullying. Doesn't matter whether you're in it or whether you're just a bystander. We're not okay with it. And we also have our posters. We have one of our four posters this year. Uh, we have it's about Facebook. It's if you wouldn't say it to my face, why would you say it to my Facebook? Studio. Over here I have my board. Um, it shows all the people recording in the studio and the setup of it and what we purchased, what the money went through. Uh, so basically it's for students who want to record and it is expensive to record outside of school. So it, when we have this program it helps people to, it's like an incentive for them to come to class. A lot of our artists are uh, they don't go to school regularly, they don't go to classes, and this way they want to go to classes in order to be a part of this program. Christian Gould. I'm a grade 7 student from Father Claire Tempe. A lot of the founding members are at a bunch of different universities now. And Speak Up for Change is our side project which is about students that are writing their old issues to raise awareness and to educate each other. So many problems in the world today. What can people do? What can people say? From rising inflation to the economy going down, somebody needs to step up. Somebody needs to make a sound. So what can we do? Speak, Speak up, up for change. change. Speak up for change. Even though I'm only a grade 7 student, I can still make good decisions, I can still be prudent. I can make a difference in my own special way. I can use my words, I can step up and say. Speak, speak up for change, speak, speak up for change. change. People can use their many talents to make a positive change now. From singing and dancing to poetry, there are many ways how. There is no need for people to sit down and stay silent. We can all make a difference without being violent. So what do we do? Speak, speak up, up for change, change. Speak, speak up for change. change. Can you envision a world with no division? Leaders who make the right decisions. A world that's not separated by its race or religion. We can live in grace in our own place where the planet won't go to waste. Slavery's history, whites and blacks treated equally. No hate stopped the crime rate with women and rape. Work side by side for it's too late before the human race is erased. So what can we do? Speak, speak up for change, speak, speak up, up for change. change. Say it with us now, speak, speak up for change, speak up for change. Speak up for change.
what I bring to the table is the um, voice of the chaplaincy leaders from our Catholic high schools and uh, I've been part of the planning team uh, to look at how in a very special way our mandate as Catholic Christians is to be a voice for the voiceless and to draw that uh, out of students who may not know that they have the voice. And this year's student voice has been expanded and in to include the elementary schools, particularly uh, the senior students in elementary as we pass the torch from um, secondary students that are going to be leaving in four years to our elementary students uh, who are also part of that future. I learned that there's a lot of ideas going on and how we can learn from them. I learned that um, people think very differently and everyone's ideas should be considered equally. The, the OELC program taught us back in the beginning a year ago is basically taught us a lot of our leadership skills, how to talk to other people, how to take ideas from students in our school and bring it back into our community, bring it back to our teachers. To be a part of today, to be a part of the great work that to celebrate student voice and what's happening in the Dufferin uh, Peel Catholic District School Board. So, um, Hosa, which is where I'm from, is about stop, start, and change. So, uh, stop, uh, stopping to do negative things, starting to do positive things, and change, which is what a lot of the students here are involved in. So, it's a chance to share our message with like minded people and to inspire the students here and to be inspired by the work that the students are doing here. And it was a chance, uh, I think. Uh, to take this message back to South Africa, which is where I'm from, and to show students there what students in Canada are doing. So what's happened here today is really groundbreaking. 